Every two weeks on The Beat Goes On, we bring two great wines to the table for tasting. Conducting the tasting this week is Master Chef Tony Astle from one of New Zealand's finest restaurants, Antoine's in Parnell. Tony Astle. We're back. How are oh, you? Back. It's so way. good to be back, I might say. It feels like I've been away for years. You're a jet setter, Tony. Oh, apparently. Mm. <laughs> well, we've just come back from France. We did our yearly little stint in France. We go to see what's happening wine-wise, and which is interesting because we're doing some Pinot Noirs today. And we're yes. right in the middle of the Rhone Valley, so a lot of red wine was drunk. So, however, the food, some very standout places, but some very average. And I think New Zealand's come of age. We're wow. pretty good now, and we just take it for granted. We have all this fresh stuff. I mean, we are... We really are God's own. I mean, totally. yeah. it's a wonderful place. We've got two beautiful wines on the table for tasting. Still. Just a little bit about each wine, Tony, before well, we we've, begin. We've run away back to Pinot Noir. We always say, it's that type of weather at the moment, isn't it? Pinot Noir is that warmness that, you know, we're all sitting with our comfort food. And uh, so I've picked two very, very special wines. Uh, Nautilus, which is very, very special to me because I was down there 10 years ago when they were turning the soil and building their new... Uh, the new plant. So of course I feel very, Clive Weston took me down there and it was very, very special to me. So I thought it was a good time to, uh, especially at this time of the year, to try these wines because yep. I, I have them on my list and I, I favour them. And I also the other one that we have here is Clos Marguerite, a couple that actually have absolute passion, very small vineyard. It's, and it's very French in style, this. So I've picked two totally mm. different wines, but both Marlborough. Yep. But um, the Clos Marguerite is a sort of more austere, but beautiful, but mm. more of a French style and two totally different wines, but both amazing. This is the 208. Now, this is the famous one for Nordic. And this one has just, in the last couple of weeks, I might tell you, has just won two huge awards in Australia. One, one was the Perth Wine Show that got the trophy, mm -hmm. and the other one was the National Australian um, Wine Show in Canberra, and that got the trophy as well. So, I mean, and this is just this in the is last the two trophy weeks. of the whole show, yeah. or just? No, no, they won the big thing. The, I mean, the, the, wine so this the is, show. This is New Zealand wow. being voted in Australia. It's yeah. pretty amazing, isn't it? People. So here's a wine that has won two major awards in Australia. So what's it going to give off? It's, well, you yeah, know, it's 100% Pinot Noir. Yeah. It's got quite a high alcohol content actually 14 percent but the absolute amazing aromas i think this mm. well they say it will drink perfectly now until about 2015 Gosh. but it's got it's just got those you know i don't know it's got it's a, a sweetness it, to it, me it it's has got a good sweet. sweetness you're, yeah. you're actually quite correct there i mean it's sort of let's just try it and you yes, just get let's. get it around your mouth I mean, it does have quite a lot of alcohol, you can tell, but the tannins, oh, the it? tannins are unbelievable. Su they're subtle, aren't they? They're mm. very, very subtle here. Lots of fruit, sweetness, and as you said, spice, but it's... Mm. Who is Nautilus, Tony? Well, I think Nautilus is Clive Weston in New Zealand. Now, he has been... I went down with him and sort of played with the soil and did everything. To, wow, we had a good time. Just the two of us down there, I can assure you we had a good time. Um, he's a very, very passionate man. Uh, he's negotiants New Zealand and he runs this whole show and he is unbelievably passionate about what he does. He's been around for a long, long time, over 20 years. He's, yeah. I've known him for... He's, He's just one of life's characters, you know, yeah. but he's got a great palate and he's got such a passion for the Nautilus label that he's unbelievable. Well, I'd like to say thank you to Clive to, uh, to be able to taste an award-winning wine. I mean, it doesn't happen often. Generally, by the time a competition's been won, it's all gone, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I actually had this last night with some beautiful wild venison back steaks and I just matched it with a very, very, very light chocolate sauce. Now, chocolate... Now, just smell this. You can actually, yes, yes, so. you can see how this will actually marry in with chocolate. It's unbelievable, oh, you know. Yes. And venison, that subtle venison mm. flavour. This is tell you, nectar. That's what it has to be. And they deserve to do extremely well with this. Tony, that's wine number one. Wine number two. Number two. <laughs> number two. This here is once again the East Alvin. You know, <laughs> we have this little noise of a crack. It's, look at the colour. Totally different colour. Yes. This one. Quite interesting. Why really. don't we hold that up? What would you say the Deep red, isn't it? It's deep red, sort of verging on a purple colour, really, but... Lovely aroma, isn't it, Tony? This is an, it's actually got the, mm. the mushroomy, and they say yes. the dirty old no, feet, is, all that sort of stuff. Yes. You know, it does, it's that, you know, the forest floor. It's a small, small vineyard. And the owners are John, uh, Jean-Charles Van Hove, and we have Marguerite Dubois. 
no, good name. So that's got to be where the name comes from. Yeah, and this is where she comes. She's a very lovely lady, and I tell you what, she does a very good job. She came knocking on my door, yeah. and I was, oh, no, no more wine, no more wine. But you know, the squeaky door gets the oil, and she was very good at it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I was blown away. Wonderful. She's just such a lovely, lovely lady, but they're so passionate. Let's give it a go, Tony. It's really good. Totally different, though, to the other one, isn't it? Yes, but it's... And it's got that total lingering spiciness at the back. Beautiful. There's a balance here, and there's integrated tannins, you know, and it's, it's got that lingering... You know, mm. we had it with the other one, too, it, it, yes, on the back. It goes you know when you get it yeah, on the yeah, back yeah. of your tongue? That's all your, and your yeah. palate around here. It's actually... Oh, this is beautiful. And your mouth starts watering, wanting another one, isn't mm. it? I mean, look, you're, you're into it already. You can't stop here. This here... I do a lamb neck, now I get the lamb necks from Invercargill, from uh, mm. down at uh, Bill French who grows me the special lambs, I'm sure. <laughs> but we, had, we take their neck, and this is a long, long slow, but an Asian flavours, you know, of um, five spice and uh, all, well, all sorts of things. And it's, this here, it just goes with it beautifully, because mm. there is a huge spiciness in here, and you mm. can actually taste that. So imagine that with sort of, you know, um, with cinnamon and, uh, yeah. or, you know, those beautiful flavors. Asian flavours. Yeah. Two, two beautiful Pinot Noirs. Well, look, we've gone yeah. to heaven yeah. again, haven't we? Why do yeah. we do this? I mean, <laughs> it's lucky they let us down every now and then, because every time we sit here, we go to heaven, don't we? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> do, do, don't we, don't we? Antoine's Restaurant. Well, Let's mighty. tell all New Zealand once again what a wonderful restaurant you've got, where you're the master chef. It's been, well, next month is our 37th birthday. 37. Seven years, Happy and I must birthday. say I have been... I've, it's only about two nights I have never cooked in that 37 years, so that's not bad. And that was almost life and death, but it was a death one of them, so I was allowed to go away <laughs> for that one. However, I think we're, we're aiming at 40, because 40 is pretty exciting, yeah. and no one else is that stupid to run restaurants that long, but I love it, you know, and I, yeah. it's my life. And what we do is, when you come to my restaurant, you're coming to my home. Yes. So you put up with all the, <laughs> the stuff that I put it, you know, throw at you because yeah. I do have a little bit of a reputation. Yeah. People sort of ask for the chef's bar room so they can listen to it, but I don't perform all the time. Yeah. But because it is your life and it is my total life, and we've still got a couple of the people, in fact, the lady, uh, Mrs. Pollock, that just died recently, she lent me the money, like the po uh, Barker and Pollock. They lent me the money to buy that restaurant in 73. Yeah. And she just died just before this birthday, and I'm so sad about it because yeah. they were they inspired me and they gave me the confidence because mm. I was only 21 years old, 22 yeah. years, and they made me do it, you know, and it was... Get your own restaurant, and it's Tony. All, but I now, have, yeah. I now have their children yeah. that are huge customers of mine, but their children. So we've yeah. now got, and they, like, it's, that, it, it's a family thing, but all of my customers are my family. What's the address and the telephone number? Well, so I haven't got a helipad, so you can't pop in there. <laughs> you can't, I'm working on it. Um, it's 333 Parnell Road in Parnell Village. Yep. Um, phone number is 09 37 And you have a website, of course. And we have a website, www.antoinesrestaurant.co.nz. Now, Tony, of course, we had a winner from the last time you were on the program, and it's time right now. We have a little bit of music. We're going to announce the winner right now. From all the emails, the successful draw revealed that the winner of a wonderful night for two at Antoine's was Leslie Hill and Partner. Thank you, Leslie, for entering. Now, Tony, let's, we can do it again, can't we? All I have to do is email to Jared at The Beat Goes On. In the subject line, just put 37th birthday. Please don't send them to me because yeah. it gets very, very yeah. confusing. Yeah, send the emails to me. Not to Tony. Yeah. Jared at The Beat Goes On. .co.nz. Tony, we're going to see you in another month's time. Always a pleasure. Always go out and inheriting some new wine. Yes, we will. Okay, thanks, Tony.